Hey guys. So, welcome to Legacy Computers. Um, I had a question and I figured the best way to answer it would be to do this on camera, which is, can you still use Microsoft Windows XP nearly 10 years after its end of life date? Does it still work on the internet? Um, what caveats do you run into when you use it? And uh, how slow is it um, in comparison to modern hardware? Um, and I'd like to start off with saying, uh, after installing it, I found out that there is an unofficial service pack for this thing. So technically XP ended at service pack three. There was an unofficial service pack four, which was released, which contained all the updates for Windows XP. Um, and they unofficially released it as service pack four. And by unofficial, I mean, somebody put together a package, built the package with probably the WSUS updates packaged it and then set it as an ISO file so you can install it with all the updates. Um, then I found out that there's an unofficial service pack five. So the unofficial service pack five not only includes all the regular updates from the service pack four, but then all the updates that had to do with the uh, point of sale systems, which were technically end of life in 2019. So that's what we have here. We have a Windows XP Pro machine that is updated to 2019. So while that's still five years, the question is, is can you use it? Does it function? And how slow is XP to use? Um, the answer to that is kind of a mixed bag. Um, while the machine that I'm using it on is a virtualized machine, um, it does have uh, four cores uh, and it is four gigs of memory. And all the old school tweaks that you used to do with XP still work. Um, setting your uh, virtual memory to static, um, turning on visualizations, um, reducing the overhead, all work. But the machine itself, uh, you know, it, it's snappy. Um, I didn't actually expect it to be as fast as it is. Uh, I've been using, you know, Windows 2019 server and Windows 10 now for a while. and. Windows XP is just so fast in comparison, which is amazing since it, it's a 32-bit operating system. You're limited to four gigs of resources, but it is, uh, honestly, it feels faster than Windows 10 by a long shot. I don't mean like, hey, you click on something and it's quicker. I mean, everything that it does, with the exception of things that I would say on the internet, your internet access is faster in the new systems. But I, I assume that that's because the browsers um, that have full mainstream support are faster uh, than the old browsers were. They could allocate resources quicker. Uh, they just work better. But um, everything else on the system, as far as accessing things, uh, clicking on things, opening things, um, it's fast. I mean, it, it's almost instantaneous fast, which by comparison with you know, uh, Windows 10, Windows 10 feels slow. Um, but yeah, I, it's, it's real quick. Um, and it doesn't use any resources, which is so crazy because we've gotten so used to having 16 gigs of memory and using eight or nine gigs of memory just to run the operating system. Um, this thing's just chugging along at 96 megs, um, which is amazing. Um, I, I, I genuinely am just amazed as to how much faster XP is than Windows 10 still. Um, so let's go into what this is. And what's interesting is if we right click on uh, my computer here and open up properties, we, we can even see it's listed as the unofficial rollup service pack five. Uh, so this machine is end of life 2019. It says it right into the, in the, uh, in the systems uh, information. And you can see the PC information here. We're running uh, three gigs of physical memory. Um, again, it's four gigs, but I'm guessing it's allocating a gig for video resources. Um, and then it's an i5 10th gen running at 4.1 gigahertz, which, you know, is not new. 12th, 13th gens, I think 14th gens are out now and, you know, they're blazing fast. And again, this only has four cores. I mean, theoretically, I could, I could give it the full 12 core and it should absolutely fly. But as it sits, it really doesn't need much more than the four cores and four gigs of memory. Uh, it, it doesn't use it. Um, so can you still use it to browse the internet? Well, the answer to that is kind of. So this is a uh, application called Chameleon or um, Chameleon. Uh, it, it is an open source project that still exists. They still have for, full support for Windows XP. 
Um, and it, it, it does work. So, I mean, if we go to like um, www.youtube.com. It will load YouTube. You could still watch YouTube videos. Um, so if we click on something, the secret to the having a great day works. for me starts with Good Day Columbus. Kurt, Jessica, Buck, um, Katie, the mics can and fill the Good Day Columbus. Generally speaking, most of this stuff should be end of life by now. But the fact that it still functions is amazing. Um, so the, the answer to the question really is, depending on what you're going to use it for, yeah, you could still use XP, and XP still functions. And in my opinion, XP still worlds faster than Windows 10. Uh, maybe Microsoft Windows 12 should be based on XP. Uh, but at any rate, um, I'll put some links down in the description if you guys want to load this up on a virtual system to test it out yourselves. I'll put the links for the uh, the requirements for the um, getting the browser to work. Um, you'll have to install the Visual Studio client for 2013 and 15. I'll put the ISO link for the uh, unofficial rollup for Service Pack 5 in the uh, description. Um, and uh, yeah, just give it a try if you guys want. But this is going to be part of my legacy series. This is a Windows XP machine. Maybe the next one I'll do is a Windows 2000 machine. Um, if anybody out there has a link for Disk Keeper 2007, even a trial key, um, please let me know where you got it because I'd be really interested in getting that installed on the XP machine so I could show you guys how to modify the MFT controls or the master file template. So in XP... Um, they did away with the, the ability to expand your registry. In Windows 2000, it exists. So by default now with Windows XP and, 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 and um, going forward, everything from XP forward, you can't modify the MFT. The MFT file is the storage for your registry. Your registry is a finite size defined. It's not that big. Once it gets to that size, it starts to do compression, which slows everything down. Um, Disk Keeper 2007 gave you the ability to modify the MFT file in Windows XP um, to mimic the Windows 2000 settings, which will greatly increase the speed since storage is no longer an issue like it used to be. Um, I mean, when these systems were out, realistically, you were lucky if you had a 10 gig hard drive. You were in, you know, that was that was baller status back then. So, uh, 20 gigs was, you know, unheard of. What were you ever going to use all that space for? Um, at any rate, uh, yeah, I'll end this here. Uh, again, check out the uh, links and uh, give it a try. It's a lot of fun. It's a blast from the past. All right, guys, take care. Like and subscribe for more videos.